Today we are going to be using the EPSI model to solve a word problem. The first thing we want to do is read our problem two times. Carla waited 54 minutes for her grandmother to arrive at the airport. Carla read a book for 19 minutes and played cards with her sister for 17 minutes. The rest of the time, she watched planes arrive and depart. How much time did Carla watch the planes arrive and depart? I'm going to read it one more time. Carla waited 54 minutes for her grandmother to arrive at the airport. Carla read a book for 19 minutes and played cards with her sister for 17 minutes. The rest of the time, she watched planes arrive and depart. How much time did Carla watch the planes arrive and depart? Next, we want to circle our important information. This is usually our numbers. So we're going to circle 54 minutes. We're going to circle 19 minutes. And we're going to circle 17 minutes. Then we want to underline our question. Our question sometimes is the very last thing in the word problem. Sometimes it's not. The best way to find your question is to find your question mark. And then you can underline the whole sentence. Now, we're going to use our UPSI model. So let's draw our template. The first quadrant is understand. The next one is plan, then solve, and then evaluate. So the first thing we want to do is, after we've done all of these other things, is we want to understand what's going on. So let's kind of think about the problem in our own words. So Carla waited a total of 54 minutes for her grandmother. And she read a book for 19 minutes. And she played with her sister 17 minutes. Now, what we want to do is we want to think about how can we start putting this into um, a way that we can actually plan it out and solve it. Well, with this problem, it's very nice to use a strip diagram. So I'm going to draw our strip diagram. And remember, our largest number always goes in the bigger box. So I'm going to put 54 in the bigger box. Now I have two numbers. So I have 19 and I have 17. But there's one more number that I want to figure out. And that's how much time did Carla watch the planes arrive and depart. That's what we're going to be solving for. Now we're ready to plan our um, strategy. So the best way to do that is remember our acronym, Old Monkeys Never Play. So we're going to put an O for operation. Well, I'm going to have to think about this. How am I going to find out this question mark? Well, the easiest way to do that is to add the two numbers that I have and then subtract it from my big number. So I'm going to first add and I'm going to subtract. Now for my M, which is my method, I'm going to write it out in words. First, I add 19 and 17. Then next, 
text. I subtract that from 54. And then I'm going to write down that I'm going to try to find a sum and a difference. Now I'm ready to solve. I'm going to use the steps that I had up here in my planning stage to solve. So the first thing that I did was I added 19 and 17. So let's add 19 plus 17. 9 and 7 is 16. So I write my 6 down and then I regroup my 10 over to the other side and there's 1, 2, 3. So that's 36. So I did my first step. Now I'm ready for my second step, which is subtracting it from 54, which is my big number. 54 subtract 36. See how those numbers are the same? So 4 take away 6. Can I do that? No, I cannot because 6 is bigger than 4. So I'm going to regroup and I'm going to make this 4 a 14. And that leaves me 4 tens. 14 subtract 6 is 8. Then 4 subtract 3 is 1. So my question mark becomes 18. Sounds reasonable, but let's check it out and let's see. Let's draw our strip diagram again. And we had 54. We had 19, 17, and then I'm going to put my 18 right there. Well, the easiest way to do this is just add my bottom numbers to make sure that it equals 54. So 19 plus 17 plus 18. So 9 and 7 and 8 equals 24. So I'm going to put my 4 right there, and I'm going to regroup my 2 over here. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Does it equal? Yes, it does. So using our EPSI me method and taking everything out into steps helps us be able to solve word problems.